stopping by if you're new here my name is Vanessa also known as Nessa Naima thank you so much to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for the love if you're new here and you haven't subscribed what are you doing please hit that subscribe button so you can join the latest family on YouTube right now so guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video because I'm so sure if you clicked on this video, you are interested to know. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. This has been on my Q&As, this has been on my DMs. Everyone asks me how I manage to get the perfect lighting, the perfect color, the perfect everything. So sit down, relax, pick up your notebook. Take out your phone, by the way, because I think it's better to watch as you practice because... I'm going to put a screen recording here of how I usually do everything and I'm so sure it will be of help. Before we continue with this video, I just want to say thank you so much for 1.66k subscribers. And I hope if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed that you're going to hit that subscribe button because I want to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of March and I know you guys can do it. I'll also do a giveaway once I finally hit 2,000 subscribers. So if you're here and you usually comment on my videos, please don't stop. You never know. The winner might be you. If you're here and you usually share my videos, trust me, I see each and every one of you and I will surprise one of you very soon. So guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, the application that I usually use is called Facetune. So you just go to Play Store or App Store or whatever store that you buy your apps from and just write Facetune. And it's this first app here with blue and red. Because I already have the app, I'll click open. If you don't have it, just click download, of course. So as you can see, I had already started editing a picture here, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to start afresh. I'll just go to gallery and choose a picture. I'll first show you an editing of a neutral colored photo, and then we are going to move to a colored photo. So I don't know which one I feel like editing. Um, Okay, let's edit. Yeah, let's just edit this one. And let me go back to... Yeah, this is its original form. This is how the picture looks like. As you can see, it has no color. It has no details. It's not clear. But we are going to sort that out right now. So the first thing that I like to do is hit edit here. And I add some color until I'm happy. So for this video, I'll add until 82. Then sharpen until somewhere like seven. I don't like to sharpen too much, so eight. The next thing is the structure so that the picture can become more clear and everything can show. So I add it until like 16, okay, like 20. Just play around guys until you see it's looking how it's supposed to be looking. Then sometimes I use temperature, sometimes I don't, but today I think I'm going to use it. So I'm just going to add a little bit temperature to give my picture some color. Yeah, this is how it's looking. And then I hit the tick. Then um, this is the before and this is the after. You can already see the difference before, after. The next thing that I like to do is whiten and I use this for my background, especially if the background is white, this is the secret. So you just click whiten and then you just rub your finger like that and just pass it everywhere that is white basically. Sometimes I like to even do it on my clothes if I'm wearing white zoom so that you cannot whiten parts that you don't want to whiten. So 
sorry guys no no by the way it's a lot of work so the ones that usually tell me to edit for them their pictures i hope you can see that sio kukata it just takes a lot of time and energy but i decided to do this video for you guys so that you can help yourselves so yeah i just whiten 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 basically everywhere that is white i'll also whiten the chanel portrait over here so yeah and if you've whitened somewhere that you didn't want to whiten you can always pick the eraser and just erase for example here just erase like that guys the key to a perfect photo by the way when you're editing just be patient just zoom because when you zoom you'll touch the actual points that you want to touch now it will be a perfect photo as you can see i've taken a lot of time on the whitening because it requires time so you can add or you can reduce you can add and you can reduce guys just see the difference of that picture when it's white and when it's not when it's white and when it's not so yeah i'll just add the white until there i've seen i've missed a, a part so i'll just wait in here so yeah this is how the picture is looking so far it already looks postable but we are not done yet so you click the tick to save the changes and then another thing i like to do is pick paint and then depending on the colors of your clothes you just pick the color of your clothes for this picture it's black so i pick black and then i just color i just color everywhere that is black and guys remember to zoom out the picture i'm doing this one in a hurry but i usually zoom to the maximum as in yeah like that just color everywhere that is basically black trust me guys you'll see a very huge difference and then if you want to erase a part you just do the same you just hit the eraser and then oops you hit the eraser and then you erase <laughs> you erase like that your picture is back to normal i think i'll also color the shades the black part and a little bit my hair so yeah this is how it's looking but i feel like the black is too black so i'll reduce as i told you you can reduce you can add so i'll reduce until there this is before and this is after i'll also darken the frame yeah just like that i hope you're following guys <laughs> and also the name chanel Yeah. So that's the progress so far before and after. Before and after. I'm already loving this picture. I don't know what else to do with it. Then hit the tick. Uh I can see there is a shadow here, but this one is not bothering me. So another thing I like to do is um heal. For example, this mark this one up akoma goti, I just come to patch and then i select either heal or vanish both of the both of them do the work but i'll just choose heal and then i'll do that and just like that it has disappeared nobody's gonna know nobody's gonna know <laughs> so yeah that's it i think for this picture yeah, there's so many other things I can do to this picture, but I want to make this video beginner friendly. So click tick and then the last and final thing that I usually do to my pictures is details. 
and then I just touch on my jewelry so this effect makes the jewelry the glasses the nails the lips to just pop out I'll just show you the difference in a few just make sure you hit the jewelry and everywhere else that you want to yeah this is how it's looking and i really love this picture guys i can't wait to post this picture for you guys <laughs> by the time i'm posting this video i'm so sure these pictures will be up on my instagram so be sure to follow me on instagram i'll leave it here uh, after the details i just hit the tick and then i've also seen another mistake i don't know what i had touched but i can see my hand is um, greenish and also the color of my hand and the color of my legs are not the same because of the lighting so i'm going to show you how i usually do that so i'll just come back to paint and i'll pick the color of my skin which i think is this one and then i'll just zoom and color and i'll just color like that Just kind of like that, color all the fingers. This feature is good, especially if you have dark knuckles. And then I'll just also try to sort this out, but I don't think it's working. Yeah, like that, and then I'll reduce. As you can see, it's now matching with my, with my skin. I'll show you I'll show you closer this is before and this is after before and after so yeah guys that's all that I usually do with my pictures and then I hit the tick uh, I feel like I should add a little bit more color so I'll just go to edit and color and then add color oh wow and then when you're done with the picture you just click save and there you have your picture let me just show you from the gallery how it's looking like this is how it looks like guys you cannot tell it's the same photo that i took so yeah this is how i usually edit my monochrome pictures now i want to show you how i edit pictures with a lot of colors this is interesting so i hope you're taking note uh first of all i'll just have to find a picture that i want to edit that i've not edited yet um i don't even know which picture to choose oh yeah for example hmm should we try and edit these selfies? Um, okay, wait. Guys, let me find a picture and then I'll get back to you because I don't want you to see my whole gallery. Okay, I think I found a picture. I don't really like these pictures, guys. I was so angry with these photos, but let's give it a try. Okay. So I'll just pick this picture over here. This is how it's looking. And like I said, first things first, I like to come here to edit. I feel like the picture is a little bit dark, so I'll add the brightness just like that. And then the color just like that. Guys, just look at the difference. Like it's already making the picture look poster wool. Then I'll just sharpen again a little bit and add some structure yeah and that's it for this part click the tick next now because this picture is not even i feel like my skin is not even i usually come here smooth and i choose maybe conceal or smooth they almost do the same job but for this video i'll choose conceal zoom out the legs and just do this you see what it's doing it's making it's making the the skin tone even and it's also healing some few spots if you have a few spots on your legs also if you have some stretch marks you can also get rid of them 
by doing this i'm not saying there's anything wrong with stretch marks but if you want so yeah i'll just conceal 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 my legs just conceal basically everywhere where there is skin You don't want to conceal also too much because it makes the photo lose structure so i'll just reduce until somewhere like 55 yeah just like that and then i'll hit save what else do i need to do for this picture oh yeah so whiten because i have a big smile and my teeth are not white enough so i usually just press whiten and then auto it does the job for you if it's too white you can reduce or you can adjust to your liking so for this one i'll just reduce i don't want to to seem like my teeth are too white and they're not after that you just hit save then we are almost done with this picture um you see this dark parts under my thighs and this dark parts on my on my wrist and on on the shingle i'll show you how i usually deal with those so you just come back here paint you choose the color of your skin which is this one for me and then i just paint exactly the same thing that i did with the other photos so yeah i just paint like that i paint i paint i paint everywhere that is a little bit darker and guys uh usually it's not that my hands are like that it's because maybe the sun didn't hit all the parts of my body so the parts where the sun didn't hit it it becomes darker so yeah so that's the need of doing this and maybe on the neck like that and here and also here below the thighs sometimes here it's just the shadow so yeah that's what you do Guys, but then I recommend when you're doing this, just put on your earphones. It's very satisfying. <laughs> okay, for me. I know we are not the same, but I usually enjoy doing this with my earphone. And then just then just reduce to your liking. Guys, I hope you can see the difference. very huge difference and then when you're done with that just click the tick and save it we are almost done with this picture guys don't worry another thing i like to do is go to color and then pick maybe like blue i picked blue for example and then you see what it's doing you can add the saturation you can reduce you can add you can reduce as for me i think i want to add it just like that and then next i will pick green and add the saturation as well another color that is on this picture is i think orange and then add the saturation as well and then when you're done just click the tick and it will save your recent photo so guys let me just show you the progress this is the before and this is the after and i think i'm almost done with this video the only with this photo sorry the only thing that's remaining is to make the features pop out so i'll just head over to um what is it called details and then zoom i'll just put some details on the dress on my jewelry 
and on my nails on my handbag on my nose ring my eyeshadow my lashes and the same side as well my teeth my lips the cup the braids the can of the energy drink but the guys doing this really has a very big difference trust me i'll just show you right now the before and after and also the jewelry <laughs> i know it seems like a lot of work guys but it's not once you get used to it and also if you want your pictures to look nice you have to work hard <laughs> then on my shoes as well i'll just add the details I hope you can see by the way what it's doing but i'll just show you in a few so yeah i think we are almost done with this picture actually i think we are done with this picture and then click the tick as usual so yeah this is the before and this is the after as you can see there's a very huge difference guys <laughs> yeah and then when you're done just click save I'll just do one more photo for you guys and then that will be it for this video. Uh, for example, let's try a different, let's try a selfie, let's try a selfie. I think I actually have some selfies from today. Uh, let's try this one. So guys, for selfies, I usually don't do a lot because my front camera is almost perfect. So I just come to edit. Uh, then color then I add a little bit of color structure um, if the picture is not bright I usually add brightness but I think this picture is bright enough and then um, and then hit save then I usually come here smooth uh, let's see this picture Mm, okay yeah, i'll just smooth a little bit but there's no need really i'm just showing you so you just click smooth and do the same thing just smooth under under your eyes basically everywhere that has skin guys you see all those photos that you usually see on instagram very smooth and perfect it's not usually perfect it's face tune my babies let me tell you it's face tune the power of face tune and then just reduce like that and then click the tick and that's basically it because this photo really has uh nothing to edit uh maybe details you can add details to your eyeshadow like that to your eyes to your brows to your lips nostrils edges by the way and also your earrings and the jewelry i feel like it's too much yeah and then reduce uh then click save the last thing that i'm going to do for this one is just add maybe the saturation of the of the blouse of the color green i don't even think it's doing anything okay yeah i think it's doing something and then click save uh paint choose black to darken the black parts just like that just like that just like that basically just color everything that is black sometimes i like to do my eyebrows as well i like to darken them like that and then just reduce so before after before after not of, not much of a huge difference but there's a difference and also darken the chanel Another thing I'm really dying to do to this picture, like my mind cannot sit straight if I don't do it, is the white background. So whiten again, zoom in and just whiten. 
just whiten the background and you'll see you'll definitely see the difference of this picture with a whitened background and a dull background but guys you don't have you really don't have to do this but this is just my way just make sure you whiten everywhere oh wow just look at the difference guys So yeah, this is before whitening and this is after. Okay, let's reduce a little bit. Before, after. I feel like it really looks so much better when the background is really white. I also feel like they should bring an app whereby you can whiten the 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 background of the video and make it whiter because I've never found an app that does that without paying but if you know comment down below because I need my reels to look the same as my pictures so yeah I think that's it for this photo guys after that I just hit tick and then save so yeah let me show you how it's looking from the gallery uh yeah i think this is the one so yeah this is how the photo is looking compared to before i think it really looks so much better so guys i think that's it for this video i don't want to end up editing all my photos but i hope you've uh learned a few things comment down below if this video was helpful to you also comment down below if you would also love to know how i edit my youtube videos because that's also another question that i get a lot but as of now, I'll leave you with that and please don't forget to like this video. If you've reached this far and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Please, 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 please. Okay, thank you. I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to tell your friends. Tell everyone to basically watch me because like I usually say, imagine I'm interesting. Bye-bye.